and Iowa 11. Each gets two for that, you know. Now, here are two. Well, let's put it this way. Iowa, has, Iowa State has to win both of these matches to go into the heavyweight because they don't figure the heavyweight is a win. Gadsden against Greg Stevens. Here is Charlie Gadsden, another newcomer, although he's a senior. He was a junior college champion for Iowa State. He had a brother named Willie who graduated here and was a fine wrestler. And there goes Charlie Gadsden in with a very tough... He went into kind of a single yep. uh, fireman's carry combination. Off the mat, it still remained a neutral position. Well, I'll tell you, they, they get more exciting every year, Dave. He's got a single in on him now. If he can get that thing high enough, he wants to overhook that ankle. He'll put him to the mat for two. Uh, huh? Stevens has an overhook or a wizard series on him to counter. And there was a the nice chest pressure on there by, by Gadsden to get the two points. Now, Iowa State is very high on this young man, too. The word is that he'll give you eight minutes solid. And Gadsden leads, but Stevens is a brilliant Here's young our, Here man. comes our two points right here. Notice how he spins him to the mat off of that real quick. Took his base off of him. He's good. Yep. Stevens was a, has been a national place winner at 190. And it must be said that there is courage in other places in wrestling than right out on the mat. He had to come down to 177 pounds to wrestle this year to help his team. That's right. Both he and Bud Palmer, the 190-pounder tonight for Iowa, are both former 190-pounders. So someone had to give in order to make the team a little stronger, and that's what happened. Gadsden working on a chicken wing on the near side. He's given Stevens a lot to think about at the moment. Well, he's just working kind of a bar arm series there right now, but he's got a lot of pressure on it. Consequently, Stevens uh, can't do much in the bottom. 41 <laughs> seconds left. He's, he's trying to get him turned on that right now. And uh, referee Spike Israel saying, watch that arm, watch the shoulder. He, would, he doesn't want to take that too high on him or he's going to call it. Now the half Nelson from the other side didn't quite get it. He can't go parallel to the long axis of the body, so to speak. Now he's in pretty good shape if he could get him turned to the inside. Only trouble is he's on the wrong side of the mat. Out of bounds. <laughs> well, that's the only call that could have been made there. Yep. 18 seconds left the first period. Gadsden, Charlie Gadsden. 22 and 1 this year. He was the Midlands champion. Wasn't he? I think he was. Uh, I think so. Yes. I'm not certain, but I think maybe he was. I really don't know for sure. I forgot. I don't have my Midlands results here with me. And I know that uh, that his brother Willie, wrestling unattached, won at 190. Okay, top man gets set. I can see right now in that earlier part of that period there, he's tough on top. He bears right down on him. Notice that. A roll, but Gadsden recovers. Well, he's a loose on top. He's loose enough that he can counter any of that tight move. The right too tight sometimes it's pretty difficult to make that counter. Now he's in the leg. Here we are at the end of the period. Did he get out? One. Yes, the referee says so. And once again, Iowa comes up with an end of the period move. That was a good call. That had to be made. He was out yes. before the time. We know, have the score now two to one. I know Harold Nichols. There it is right there. Excellent move on the part of uh, counter move on the part of Gadsden there. I know uh, Harold Nichols must be thinking, oh, if we could just make, take five seconds out of those first periods, we'd be ahead by far the now. Two to one is the score. Gadsden is up. He's yeah. riding right now, just kind of loose back there, picking up our ankle, deep waist and near arm bars. That's basically what he's using. A minute and 33 seconds of riding time and counting. You know, it's rather interesting to the fan who doesn't know much about wrestling. If you watch that top wrestler, if he, if you, if he breaks him down, he bears a lot of weight in the smaller part of the back of the bottom wrestler. And uh, he may weigh only 177 pounds, but it feels like 277 because of the pressure it's bearing down. So it's a lot tougher than what it appears. Now the cross face. He's got a cross face there. You can see Stevens bracing out there with his leg to try to keep Gadsden from getting any pressure against him and turning him over. See this near leg? He's got that arm bar pretty tough. Yes. And now he's giving him the old bow and arrow bit. Head right in the middle and see if he can bring the top and the bottom together. <laughs> That's a point for Gadsden because stalling has just been called on Greg Stevens after yeah. a warning earlier. So it's now. I think at this point, however, uh, Stevens is finding a pretty tough sledding on the bottom. He can't do much because Gadsden's just all over him. I'm not sure the scoreboard has reflected that. Uh, I see two to one. There he's going to dump it. He's going to go for it right there. With a double arm tie up. He doesn't have any points yet. He just kind of rolled through. 
awful close. He barred both arms. And if he'd had a little bit more time there, maybe it wouldn't have been too much of a hurry. He might have garnered some fall points. But Stevens rolled on through effectively. That, uh, I think the scoreboard is wrong. The scoreboard should be three to one. And here's another stalling against Stevens. And another point. Now the scoreboard has three to one. Um, it might be interesting for everyone to note at this point that there's been right. two penalty points for stalling. The next time it's a two-pointer. And after that, it's disqualification. Okay. Now Stevens is holding his shoulder and he's asking for help from the bench. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Charlie Gadsden okay. keeps his opponent rather well occupied out there. Your mind doesn't wander much when he's out there with his spurs. Well, he's been real tough on that armbar series, and I, he, he might have, when he, when he put him over on his back, he didn't get any fall points, but when he put him over on that double bar, uh, he might have twisted that shoulder in such a way as to maybe cause a, a uh, strain somewhere there. He got injured in, in real badly, but I'm sure that it's strained. You can see referee Spike Israel there he taking advantage of the Iowa water that, bottle. Yeah, and that's Willie Gadsden on the left mopping up his brother Charlie. Yeah, Willie Gadsden sitting on the Iowa bench tonight, cheering for his brother. Mark, at, Mark, here we go right here for a... Dumps him right quick. There it is with a double bar arm, but he didn't garner any fall points off of that, but I think that's the point where the young Stephen boy got his shoulder strained. And the fans again are on their feet. 14,300. That has to be an estimated crowd, but if, if I if you see an empty seat around here, Dave, let me know. I don't well, I, there's no doubt that prior to the meet ever starting, it was all tickets were sold, so that's 14,300, I think, approximately. Gadsden on top again, leading three to one with a lot of riding time. Now he's tough up there riding. He keeps that at him all the time. Just keeps pecking away, and consequently, the boy in the bottom doesn't get an opportunity to put any moves together. That's a secret in riding on top, by the way. There's so many secrets, I guess. But on top, if you can uh, have a variety, uh, an attack that has a variety of moves up there, the boy in the bottom doesn't have a chance to put any moves together. All he's thinking about is defense staying off my back. And that's exactly what Gadsden's doing to him. He's keeping him so busy down there. Has that arm bar now. Referee's watching the uh, angle of the shoulder very carefully. There he goes again arm. with that far arm. That cross face over there, he lost it. Twelve seconds left in the second period. He's definitely dominating, but uh, Charlie Gadsden. Again, you look up and you see it's only three to one. That's right, we've had two penalty points thus far, have we not? Right. Six seconds left. Harold Nichols and uh, the team one. physician, Bill Excuse Baird. me, we've only had one penalty point. I thought we had two, Doug, my error. We've had the stalling, then the penalty point. So we only had one. The clock is ticking out. The end of the second period. We're at 177 pounds in Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa, live tonight. Iowa State against Iowa. And the Cyclones lead at the end of the first seven matches, 12 to 11. You'd think that the, if there has been a turning point so far, it has been the draw that Charles Heller got at 167 with Deanna. He's giving a caution on the top man, in this case, Stevens, at this time, because he was not getting down there, getting ready to go in the start position. Gadsden came to the stand-up position. He's going to come out of there. Looks like he wants to come down maybe and switch. Well, he might be wanting to go for the two rather than the one, but I would rather think that he'll go for anything that he can get here pretty quick. Yeah, get back on top as quickly as he can. I think you'll see him popping up to his feet here pretty quick. Remember, in the next match, I, I hate to look ahead at any of these, but Frank Santana, the national champion, wrestles Bud Palmer, who he says is one of the toughest men he's ever faced. Well, he is a good 190-pounder. Deanna, with the grapevine on the leg, up high. I think I'm sorry, Deanna, I'm in the wrong match. <laughs> Stevens. That's easy to do. That's Greg Stevens with Milo, yes. On top, Charlie Gadsden on the bottom. Now, uh, Gadsden has an excellent whizzer, and it looks like he's going to come out of this with a point unless... Not yet. Almost. 
There it is. Not oh, yet. Oh, oh. Not yet. I think Stevens. Oh, no. Front quarter. There's the point. I was going to say if they were inside anymore, it probably yeah. would have behooved Stevens to let it go because well, it looked like he was going to get in a bad spot. That was interesting to watch because uh, the referee was really doing a good job watching what happened. And he was waiting to see where that hand would split the middle of uh, uh, Stevens' back, whether or not he was going to give the one point to Gadsden or not. But uh, uh, Stevens lost control at the edge, and it had to be a one-pointer. Well, it's interesting, too. The Iowa State bench is saying that... Uh, Stevens is stalling. They know that he had to come down a long ways to make 177 pounds, and it, it, you would expect him to have a hard time in the late minutes. There again is Willie Gadsden on the right, an ex-Iowa State wrestler in the blue, telling his brother how it's done. I don't know if he has to tell him. Well, he's doing a pretty good job of it right now, but I don't think there's any doubt that Stevens may have a strained shoulder, but yes, whether he needs a rest time or not, uh, we don't really know that. But uh, it's a tough match, and Gadsden's carrying it right to him. Two minutes and eight seconds left in the match. We have a little mascot down here with the cheerleaders again. I think they call that PJ, is it? Yes. All right, well, we've got a little time here. Let's pause five seconds for station identification. How much time has he got left? Here we go again. 177 pounds. Keep it going in case he goes again. The voice of Spike Israel. He has a microphone in his pocket. Or he has the cable in his pocket anyway. We got two minutes and five seconds in this, the final third period. In the up position, neutral position. Both boys scrimmaging for the takedown. It's four to one in favor of Charlie Gadsden in the red. The colors of Iowa State. He moved in for a single double shot. He has a lot of riding time. Four minutes and 25 seconds. And Stevens has been on top 49 seconds. Looked like an attempted arm drag, and then Stevens fell down. Gadsden came in, no points yet. But as soon as Stevens is, loses that arm, it's two. There it well, is. Stevens attempted either a single double type combination, but uh, Gadsden countered it well, and as a result, a counter with two point with a two point takedown. Six to one, and uh, I'll tell you, it's. I'm not sure I'd like to be the one out there trying to escape from Charlie Gadsden the way he's looked so far at this point. Well, he's carrying the fight to him, and I'll tell you, it's tough down under the bottom there. And, of course, he's going with that far arm bar, trying to get some fall points out of it if he can. Six to one. A minute 21 left. At this point, Stevens doing all he can to uh, perhaps stay off his back, but he's making a little attempt here now to come to his feet for a reversal or escape. But uh, there's had... Gadsden with the ankle pick on the far side. He comes up off that. As they would, in some circles, say he's all over him like a blanket. Uh, Stevens is just has no way of putting together any moves. Gadsden's doing such a superior job of riding. Now he has the far arm. And he'd like to pull that out, get the crotch back there. Stevens throws the leg out to brace himself against it. You can see he isn't going anywhere on the bottom right now. That's defensive story. A point for Gadsden. That's our, that's our second penalty point there, and I had it much earlier, but that's the second one. Now the next one would be a two-pointer. Well, I'm afraid that you were right the first time because it's now 7-1 to one that I... Well, I don't know. I've lost track of what the score was, but it's 7-1 to one now. We've got 22, 21 seconds left. 7-2 to two after the escape. And escape now. It, one point for Gadsden. Now that should be a two. That should be a two-pointer. Two. That should be a two-pointer. Now that would make it a major decision with riding time. That's right. Now the next time, if he has one, it's a disqualification. That's a six-pointer. <laughs> it's so far as team score is concerned. Nine to two, and Gadsden in on a single. All he has to do is sit on it. Oh, he gave it up, and that lost a major decision. Five-four with a score, nine to four. And there it is. Oh, that one hurt. Well, Iowa State, the Iowa State bench going, ooh, that one got away. We lost the yeah, two-point. If he hadn't lost that takedown there, he'd have had the uh, superior or major, what we're talking about. Superior decision. The winner with riding time, 10-4, to Charlie Gadsden of Iowa State. And the team score at the end of the 177-pound match, 7-1.